probably most obviously, most obvious is that, of course, we looked at the personnel cost, including salaries and benefits. Uh, we looked at operation and maintenance expenses and factored that in. We looked at what the county, the county would, wouldn't be doing this for free, uh, so we factored in what that fee would be to manage our department. Uh, we, after talking with uh, the employees of the department, uh, we became aware of a concern among, among the staff that in a transition to uh, the sheriff's uh, office that there would be a change in the amount of employer paid premiums for health insurance. Uh, Randy was quite clear when this issue came up that he didn't want to achieve savings in that way. So he instructed me to uh, equalize that in, in my uh, calculations, other, in other words, that we would uh, in some manner or form provide a, a, uh, a compensation back for that incremental difference uh, that would be factored into this change in, in insurance as far as premium cost to the employee is concerned. We also looked at uh, the payout of accru accrued vacation leave uh, for the staff uh, in a discussion with, uh, with Sheriff Femling. Uh, it was my, it's my understanding that uh, he is willing to accept 160 hours of vacation leave, so any payout that the city would be responsible for uh, would be that amount, if any, for each employee that's over 160 hours. This is an item that would need to be uh, put in a contract uh, if indeed you instruct us uh, to negotiate one. Also, uh, payout of accrued sick and uh, comp leave. Uh, this is probably not a, a, a big number, uh, however, any employee who's been with the department for over 20 years by Idaho law is entitled to a payout of their sick leave uh, at the rate of the current minimum wage. And then of course any comp leave that, that a, a department member has would need to be paid out and that has been factored into the analysis.